So mosquitoes aren't the only issue caused by the recent rain. For one white deer family, they returned home yesterday to find the rain while Welcome had done some pretty hefty damage to their property. Fox 14's Kaylee Green shares the Welch's story of how they got a little too much rain. She joins us now live in studio. So Kaylee, I understand they found something a bit surprising in their backyard. Maggie, that's exactly right. Cassidy and Kelsey Welch came home to find their steel storm shelter was, well, no longer completely underground, but buoyant. Take a look at this Facebook post. It's been shared more than 350 times so far. Kelsey wrote, thank you, Lord, for the rain, but it's not every day that you get to come home and look out your back door and see Noah's Ark floating in your yard. She went on to say their storm shelter had been entirely uprooted and is floating a good six feet above ground. And... Quote, happy Thursday, hashtag welcome home. Now, it's certainly, not it's certainly something you don't see every day, let alone here on the High Plains. Now I want to bring in meteorologist Brittany Trumpy. So, Brittany, how is it possible that when you get five or six inches of rain, it could cause this kind of damage? Well, I have a really great experiment set up to show you guys just how that's possible. So the rain that we've been seeing over the past couple days has completely saturated our soil. And you can actually see that water line sitting just below our makeshift storm shelter. And what happens is if we add a little extra water, you'll start to see that that water line will raise and the storm shelter will eventually start to float up to the top and poke out of the surface. You can see it gradually rising. There we go. Right there. And you'll see it starts to buckle the ground above it and will eventually float up to there the top. Go. Now, obviously, this is an extreme <laughs> Not exactly example, the same, but. but you did see actually some of the pooling of the water in her photos of the backyard. Sure. And that's fairly similar to what we got going and, on And here. to see, you know, that much of the ground already being totally saturated, how, you know, if that rain is already fully saturating, how many inches would it really take for something like this? That's the thing with this entire event was it really wasn't that we got a crazy amount of rain. It was that we got it over such an extended right. time. So there was no time for it to settle down deeper into the soil. So we had a little bit of uh, some flooding. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what, a, what a great experiment for us to see live on TV. There you go. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, how this is possible. Well, Brittany, thank you so much for explaining this. It's obviously a, a crazy thing to see in your own backyard. For now, we'll send it back to Maggie over at the desk. All right, guys, thank you. Some really exciting live science there. The Welches say their next steps are getting an insurance quote for the damage and hopefully getting insurance to cover it. Kelsey says this situation has brought a lot to light for them, and they welcome any advice.